Hi guys, in this video we are going to connect to a Postgres database with Python. Now the database in question is this one here, exp, and this, this database has got multiple tables and multiple views and I wish to connect to that view and uh, basically run this query from Python and I should get these results. So let's get started. I go into VS Code and the first thing I gotta do is import import psychopg2. Now it could be that you don't have uh, psychopg2 installed in your Python installation, so you just install it with pip. Uh, basically, the way you do it with pip is if you have Python installed, you probably have pip as well. So you just go like this: pip install uh, psy, uh, uh, psycho pg2 and jet, that should install the package for you right and uh, because if you don't have it installed uh, the, the code we're, we're, we're generating won't work right so that's out of the way so now let's go on now the, fir the first thing uh, the first things I've got to set up are some some parameters and uh, let's let's start with these so first of all DB path. Now, where do I find the DB path? The DB path is basically the DB URL, and that is basically this one here, the 127.001. And uh, let's type it in. So basically, it is 127.0.0.1. That's the path. Then the DB port is typically uh, Postgres is installed at uh, 5433. Now, how do I find that out? It's also very easy. You go up here to the database engine where your database is. Go to prop. I mean, right-click it. Go to properties, and connection. And you'd see here five four three three. That's the port we have. And you see here the host is localhost, which is basically this one twenty seven zero zero one. Right. So we got that. Now DB name. DB name, as we saw, it is called exp. And now the user, now I have set up a user for this exercise called uh, demo user. What you can do, you, we can set up a new, a new user. And the way you do it, just log in group roles, just create a login group role. Let's call this user um, pi user. And uh, let's give him a password pi user privileges uh, well obviously can log in and let him create a database and membership now this is here very important is uh, we have to see cancel uh, or let, let me just explain something we have here several owners or users of the database and we have to check that we have the owner of the database let me just cancel we can do the process again and for instance we need we need that view and if you click on that view and go to properties and you see who the owner is it's postgres so that uh, user that we create has to have access to that as well and you can change the owner here let me change the owner for instance to here to this and save it so basically, if I now create a new role, that's again pi user, and password is pi user. Just let me make sure I spelled it right. Uh, privileges can log in. Let's create database membership now. Well, I can create. I can give him the membership to Postgres, and also, but I must give him the membership to Zeitworks because if I don't give him that he won't be able to access the views because this is the owner of the view right save and now we have just created a user and this is our user here so basically DB user is hi user and uh, DB password is uh, pi user. Right, so now we build our database connection, database 
connection. Connection, and that is then psycho pg2 uh, dot connect. And now we give we input all our parameters. Let me just put the mouse on the side. So put all the parameters. User is equal to a db user. Uh, password is equal to um, db password. Um, host is equal to db path. Uh, port is equal to db port. And finally, database is equal to db name. Right, got that out of the way. So now we just generate the cursor, database cursor is basically that database connection right and here it's gonna have an underscore right so now we got that right so as you see if you if you already uh, saw the previous video uh, where we connect to a SQLI database, very similar process except the SQLI database needs less parameters, and now we can basically execute our query database cursor uh, execute and select all from. Uh, what was the view called? Uh, well, we can just copy that fundamentally. And let me limit that to uh, 100 so we don't get too many results. And now I can have my found data. Uh, equal to data base cursor dot fetch all. Right, so now let's print whatever we fetch and let's see if that works. Find data. Right, save it and now let's run it. And Pi user did not authenticate. Uh, let me check. Let's see what the problem is. Okay, Pi user. Let's give him a new password. Let's give it A B C D. Save. And let's change it to the code. A, B, C, D. Save that. And let's see. Right. So I probably mistyped the password. So now we have here the data from our database. And now I would like to show you something before we proceed. And going back to the database, what I meant previously is that now if I go into that view and change the owner to you know something else let's say like demo user and save it now remember pi user has uh, membership only to postgres and zworks he does not have anything any privilege to demo user so now if i call my script again it should fail and you see i have got insufficient privileges so always be careful with that so let's go back to my view and give him the ownership of, of uh, Zeitworks and save. And now the, the query should go should work again because Pi user has got access to Zeitworks, Zeitworks and Postgres. Right. So now if we clean the output and take it out again, that should work. Great. Okay. Now 
Another thing is, uh, how do I get the column names from Postgres? Well, you get that through database cursor description. And let's try it out. So for instance, let me create an empty list. And now let's loop through the column names for i in database cursor. And in this case, a description. Description yields um, the, um, the column names and their type in, um, in, uh, uh, in, in Python. Um, let me just give you an example, column names. And now I just, whatever that gets, what I append is, um, Right, so let me just print right, got it, column, oh, column names, so I gotta put here an S, right, that should work, great, um, yeah, let's try it out first, and then I can explain a bit, so now we should get two things, first of all, the uh, data is before and, uh, and the column names now. Uh, what you use is, is database description, and let's give it a shot. Let me uh, comment this stuff out, what we just did, and let me go here, and let's go uh, print str, and let's copy that. Database description, a uh, database cursor description, and let's see what comes out. And let me just also comment the data out. We don't need it. So let's go. So now you see with database cursor description, you get a sort of a tuple of tuples. And basically, each, each, that's the big tuple or the outer tuple, basically. And that's the inner tuple of the first uh, column. And you see the name and the code. And what we did here, what we did here is basically loop through this outer tuple. And we always took the zeroth or the first element, which is basically product, which is basically country, brand, and so on. See, that's what we did. And database description gives you that, that whole tuple. And we just iterated here. We just iterated through that outer tuple. And we always got the first element or basically zeroth element of the inner tuple. And that's how we got then the column names. So comment that out and comment that in and comment that in and now we should be getting both data and um, column names so now basically if you wish you can now uh, combine uh, these two basically data and the columns in a sort of a list of dictionaries and uh, let's let's give that a shot so for row in found data and uh, found set row that's our first dictionary or basically the dictionary for each row and that would be a dict and then what we do we zip there's a function in python called zip where we basically it's like a zipper basically it's like if you can imagine a zipper it's a zipper when you when you when you zip up you have two two sides of that zipper and when you're uh, uh, and if you zip up you just combine them both together and that's exactly what we're doing here so we're zipping up first to come the keys were our dictionary keys well that's the list column names and where is our um where is our um, data well that is each row in found data that's that's here found data and that would be each row and that's basically that counter here row right and now what we do is oh i forgot to uh, create an empty list found set that's our empty list and now what i do here is basically found set 
append that dictionary, which is basically found set row. Right, so um, that's how that works. And basically, and now I just print str found set. And, and found set is basically a list of dictionaries uh, combining um, column names to uh, data. And if we clear that up, now we should get three outputs. One is pure data, one is pure columns, and the third one combines as a list, combines the, the columns to the data, and then if we go there, you see, I've got the whole stuff here, and that's now the second, the second, um, the second uh, article, and that's how we got the whole thing. Okay, so and that's how you call. Um, that's how you call Postgres databases from Python. Uh, that's how you get the column names, and basically that's how you uh, also get, uh, basically combine both results into one.